They need us and we also need them. So sometimes when we in the diaspora are complaining, we should also remember that these people back home, we also need them. So be careful the way you reply people that are in desperate need of your So aim. I've seen a lot of people complain, lament over the same issue, most especially those of us in diaspora. In one way or the other, you also is a victim of this so there's this our brother on social media who came out to lament over what his family members back home are doing to him i'll let you guys see the video in a minute because i have one or two to say about this particular video of today but in the meantime guys if you are meeting me for the first time you are welcome to my channel my name is Joanne Ekeke and I'm based here in United Kingdom, England to be precise. On this third channel, I talk about life realities of Africans, Nigerians most of the time that live here in the UK and in the diaspora at large. So if you're interested in content like this, before leaving this very video, click on the subscribe button. To subscribe is free, guys. Yes, you heard me right. To subscribe is free. And remember to click on the notification bell because that is the only way you will be notified by YouTube each time there's a new video on this very channel. And for my returning subscribers, thank you very much for your support. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for the suggestion. Thanks for your criticism. I do not take any of those for granted. I simply appreciate them because, you know, they help shaping me in this, um, on this very channel. So thank you very much. I sincerely, from my heart, I appreciate all your comments and suggestions. With that being said, I'll let you guys see the video. So this, our Nigerian brother said, he doesn't know why those in back home, those are family members and friends, loved ones back home, they feel that once you are in the diaspora, you are living a luxurious life you have no problem you don't have any responsibility of your own all they think is for you to send them money send them money send them money that you shouldn't even think about yourself or your family members you know here in the diaspora anyways i will let you guys hear from him and then i'll be back with the rest of my thoughts in this very video as you watch the video do not forget to click on the like button please it will go a long way it's going to end this video in a long way please click on the like button of this very video as we watch it together and leave your comment down below whether you are in the diaspora or you are in africa you are in asia wherever you are just leave your comment what you think about what this our brother has to say and then i will be back with the rest of my thoughts in this video i'll also see you guys in the comment section let's interact there let's hear from our brother and then i will be back guys tell me please i need i need help how do you people do it how do you people escape billing and uh, you people should tell me what is the secret i beg i beg you know i'm tired of people thinking because you're outside the country then your life is perfect I'm tired of people thinking because you're no longer in Nigeria, then you have no problems of your own. They think everything is, you figured out everything. Like you have no worries, you have no problems. You are just perfect, living in paradise. Living, living beside, on the right hand of God. I am tired of waking up to hundreds of messages of how someone has been given a quick notice by their landlord or how someone needs money to start their business or how someone needs to um, feed because they've not eaten for seven days i am tired why do people think that you have everything figured out simply by uh, staying outside the country why do they think that then your life is full of roses why do they think that you're better than them automatically. What is the secret? Do you people block them? Like, do you guys just stay off social media to avoid people like this or to avoid messages like this? Or do you just ignore them? Because I can't ignore. It's difficult for me to ignore. How do I just ignore all these messages? Like, I keep getting loads of messages every day. It's, 
it's not a perfect world out here. Yesterday I saw on Twitter of a guy um, that traveled to the UK and um, he hasn't even had his bath for three days because he doesn't even have a state, he doesn't even have a place to stay. He's here on he's here on um on a student visa and he's still struggling. Now, for some reason, his family members that oh he has traveled to the UK, then everything is perfect for him. No, everything is not perfect. How do we how do you guys deal with these people? What would you tell them to just get them to back off? What? Because when people travel to a different country, to a foreign country, they are there to put their life in order, to achieve their goals, to focus on whatever brought them from Nigeria. But for some reason, they will not stop seeing billions for, from different people. Hapa, hapa, you push it every secret now. I beg, I beg. Ah, chai. Welcome back guys. What I want to say about this very video of today is this. Yeah, I live in the diaspora and I'm not going to say that at one point that I've not got angry about what he's talking about. I'm also a victim of that. Yes, sometimes people back home, it's not as if um, they are trying to push you to the wall. No, you know, sometimes they are desperate to solve some particular problem and sometimes they really don't know who to turn to i've had you know not one or two you know different occasions whereby people will call me from back home please can you help me with this if i have to be honest i give if i have i give up to the point that somebody has called me to say oh um I'm sorry, my kids are about to go to school and they don't have this, they don't have this. I remember, I can't forget that morning. It was very early in the morning. I was preparing my children to go to school. And this, my friend called me from back home to say, my children are about to go to school. My husband is not around and I need this, I need that. I really don't want to say it yet. Be believe me, before God and man, it was um, less than 20 pounds the person needed. I gave her because I have. That was a genuine emergency. It was an emergency to enable our children to go to school. It was a genuine one. But why some of us in the diaspora are angry, I understand where this our brother is coming from. Sometimes our people back home, the, the first thing they, they do when they call you, oh, I beg you, I did die, you, I don't get money, I want to this one, I want to that one, my picking all where my picking my landlord all through our load. They forget to even ask you how you are faring. They don't even care. Some of them, sometimes, they don't even care to know how you are doing. They just believe because you are in the diaspora, you are supposed to be okay. I remember someone called me years ago. I was admitted at the hospital. The person did not even know that I've been in the hospital for almost four days. Yeah, the person keep. So I have to tell the person that I'm not feeling well. Do you know what this person said? He said, oh, oh now they enjoy if I brought now. No, you go doctor, go take care of you. You know? I was so sad. I had to snap myself and show the, to the person the situation I was at that particular time. It was so devastating. So if you are watching this video and you are back home in Africa, yes, everyone, we know that everybody cannot have everything at the same time. We all need each other, you know, to, to keep pushing, to keep pushing forward in life. Even those in the diaspora, they also need some of our people that are back home to push on, to continue, you know, with whatever we want to do. I'm not talking about maybe building the house. No, to live our life. Sometimes we also need those of them that are back home. So it is um, two waiting. They need us and we also need them. So sometimes when we in the diaspora are complaining, we should also remember that these people back home, we also need them. But those of us that are in the diaspora, when they call you that they need money, they need something, if you don't have, sincerely, you tell them you don't have. If you have and you don't want to give, you feel the person does not deserve it, you look for a decent excuse to give to that person. Because sometimes the way some of us react to people, you know, it is very, the most difficult thing in this life, I don't know about others for me, is to beg. 
It is very hard for somebody to beg you to ask for money. Before that person will come to you to ask for money, you should know that sometimes you don't even have any other option. So be careful the way you reply people that are in desperate need of your help. And those of you that are back home, please also consider when you call people that are brought for help, think twice. Put them in your position. Put yourself in their position. If I was there and people called me, the most the funniest thing is that some of these people, even when you give them the money, they don't even come back to say, oh, I've seen it. You will be the one to call them. Have you seen it? That's when they will say, oh, I just seen a whole network disturbed before. So guys, we can do better. I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.